On Windows Interface, select Desktop. On the lower right portion of Desktop window, right-click the Internet Network icon. Then click, Open Network and Sharing Center. Network and Sharing Center window will open, click Ethernet. A pop-up window will appear, click the Details button. Take note the value of default gateway, this is your router's IP address, as of now, the value is 192.168.11.254. Now close all open window, that had been opened. Open any Ethernet browser. On the address bar of the Internet browser, type the value of default gateway you note earlier. Then press Enter. On username, type admin. And on password, type admin. Then click OK button. This is the router's configuration page. On the left side, Click More Settings. Then click Network Settings. And select Internet Network. In Internet Connection Type, select Manual IP. In IP Address Menu, type 192.168.10.125. In Subnet Mask menu, type 255.255.255.0. In Default Gateway menu, type 192.168.10.254. In DNS1 menu, type 192.168.10.254. In Clone MAC Address menu, click Clone MAC Address button. Then click Apply button. Wait a moment to finish initialize changes, and proceed to Wireless Configuration. On the left side, click Wireless Settings. Then select Basic Settings. On Wireless Network ID, you can customize your Wi-Fi name or SSID. Then click Apply button. Click Reboot later to apply changes and proceed to the next step. On the Wireless Settings, select Security Settings. In Encryption Type menu, you have four options to select, select WPA2. Then change the pre-shared key. Fill in with your desired password, it must have 8 to 63 characters in alphanumeric. Then click, Apply button. Click Reboot now, to initialize all changes. Wait a moment to finish initialize changes. After it reboots, check the status of the router. On the left side, click Management. Then click System Status. The page show complete information, which means the router is configured. Now, let's try if you have internet connection. Go to the address bar of your internet browser and type any website.
Once you see a homepage of a website, you are now connected to the internet.